I read this in a prison cell 14 years ago. And I began to read God's word. And Miss Marsha, when I read it, I said, and you supposed to be a good daddy. I remember James sitting inside that prison cell and, and reading these words I'm about to read to you. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who asked him? And I said, God, I've been asking you to unlock this door. If it was Peyton behind these prison bars, I'd knock down the daggum building, tear the door off the hinges, and I would release her from this prison. Where are you at, daddy? Because I don't know how you give gifts, but the way you give them, I don't understand. I asked you to use me. I asked you to change me, and you give me a prison cell. I said, God, this is not the gift that I had in mind. I thought that I was getting probation and I was going home, but you send me a piece of paper that says I get 25 years in prison. This is not the gift that I asked you for. Thanks a lot. And I went back to my prison cell that night and I began to cry and I began to ask God, what in the hell was that? And when I looked at this piece of paper and I had 12 hours to sign it or stand on the word of God. And I looked at it and I said, God, this is the gift that you give me. I asked you to use me. I told you to give me a clean heart. I asked you to let me be your hands and to let me be your feet and you send me a piece of paper that says 25 years. Don't you know I got a little girl at home and this is the gift you give and I had no idea that it was the gift that I needed. I had no idea because the gift came strangely wrapped in order for you to think the way I think, I'm gonna have to change the way you think. So I made my own gift, son, because when you ask me, I am a good father. You know how to give good gifts to your children, but don't you get it twisted. I am a good father, and I know how to give better gifts. Sometimes God gives gifts that are strangely packaged. Can you see Joseph? He gets the gift of uh, this coat, the coat of many colors. There ain't nobody in his family got this coat. He's the special one, Charlie, he gets it. And he gets this coat, and can you see him putting it on, strutting around like a rooster? Look what daddy gave me. Because sometimes the gift that God gives you comes strangely packaged and it does not look the way that you think it should look. In this coat of many colors, he had no idea that when he put this coat on, this gift that God had just given him was going to take everything that he owned. He didn't have no idea that when he put this coat on, his brothers would hate him. He had no idea that when he put this coat on, Miss Potter, that his own mama and daddy, daddy would come against him. He had no idea that when I put this coat on, I'd be thrown into a, a dungeon and sold into slavery. I had no idea when I picked your stupid gift up that I would spend 14 years in a prison cell. Can you see Joseph in the prison? God, if I knew, they could have kept the coat. I didn't want this gift. I just wanted to look good. I did not want what you had in mind. Can you see Joseph? Can you take it back? Can we start over? I don't want what I asked you for. I don't want to promise no more. And so many times when God gives us strangely packaged gifts, it comes not the way that you expected. It comes through divorce. It comes through your children on drugs. It comes when you get an alcoholic and you don't know how to put the bottle down. It comes strangely packaged. And you don't understand it because your ways are not his ways. Somebody hear me in this church. Your thoughts are not his thoughts. 